Hello, hello, Leo. So, this is going to be your reading for March the 16th through the 31st, okay? So, let's see the energies with Leo. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising. Leo energy. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone, and that is okay. Leo energy, spirit guides, guardian angels. What you do you have for Leo? Okay. All right. Wow, we got this new beginning. We have we have you traveling somewhere. Okay, you could be traveling along. You know. Um, you're leaving a situation that no longer serves you. You're taking your awareness. You're in your boat. You're cruising along. You have many perspectives about a situation. And, you know, you're taking all of them with you. And you're headed right into a new beginning. A new, this is the Ace of Wands. You know, you're definitely taking action. Something's very passionate. You're driving right toward your passion. Right toward your desires, Leo. Uh, very fiery awareness. And, you know, you're just... You're moving. You're definitely moving. Um, let's see what's going on in your past. So in your past, you know, there was an energy of, you know, needing to get away, needing to move, you know. Um, maybe you needed to move from your job. Maybe you needed to, to move away from a relationship. Maybe you, you needed to take some time off from... Uh, a relationship maybe you needed a little separation from your job you know whatever the reason is I feel like um, you could definitely be thinking about it you that could definitely be thinking about this new this new passion that you have within you you know it's like you want this um, you're ready for this and it's almost, it, you got to put in the work though. It's saying that you have to put in the work to make, yeah, you you know, to make a completion, you have to put in the work. This is the world card in the upright position. To make that completion, you have to put in the work, okay? Okay, so let's see. Um, we have you waiting here. It's like, okay, you have d done your work now. Now you're waiting to see, is it going to pay off? Is it going to give? And I feel like you're looking, you know, these two cards are mirroring each other. The six of wands with the, um, with the seven. Of, it's like, you know, you made that step up to really put in your work. You know, because look at this card. You have the shovel here. You have your pinnacles. It's like you're ready, you know. You're you're ready to go. You have this new passionate beginning on your mind. But it's still saying you have to put in the work to make that completion. And I feel like uh, in the future, future position, you are. Um, so, you might think that, you know, you're doing all the work. And you are. You have to. Because this is... For you, for your life, you know, for your, um, for your good, okay? It's like, it's kind of like, it's one-sided here with the six or like, possibly you think you're going to be receiving something and you're not getting nothing back, okay? But really, you know, the thing is, is that you have to put in the work, okay? Um, and I feel like these two cards are mirroring each other, the seven of, you know, so it's like if you, if you're not putting in the work, you're not going to see a wholeness, a completion with the world, okay? And that's what's happening. It's like, you know, you see this new beginning, you see this ace of wands, you see this new passionate uh, romance, this love, but you're moving away from it here, okay? Or you could be moving away from the uh, the chaos and the conflict to this new beginning. Let's see how people around you see it. Uh, the King of Cups. So, maybe they see that, you know, maybe in your surroundings, um, people are, are all wrapped up in their own emotions. You know, maybe they need to get, to get a hold of, of what they truly feel within themselves. Okay? 
or you know they think that you know you need to uh you need to this is what they're thinking you know about you so the king of cups here is like you're not um handling your emotions really well okay um <clears throat> Hopes and fears here. The high priestess. So this is that that intuition, that clarity. It's like you want to get that clarity back, that understanding of what needs to happen, of what needs to be done. It's like, you know, you have done so much, but you haven't seen a payoff. Okay? But it's like you can't stop. You have to keep on going. Okay? And I feel like in the past, you possibly did pull away from the situation. Yeah, I see that you possibly did pull away from it with this Six of Swords here moving away from this new beginning. Um, and you went into waiting, okay? Well, it's like, you know, um, don't sit there and wait, you know. Keep on going. Keep on pushing. And then we have the Emperor in reverse. So the Emperor in reverse is like, you know, not really stable. Not really making strong, wise decisions. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries, but this is a very fiery energy. And this energy of the Emperor in reverse is really controlling, really stubborn energy. Okay, very hard-headed. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm seeing here with you, Leo. So... You guys, don't shoot the messenger, okay? I'm just saying. Um, what is this new beginning that is being offered to you? Yeah, what is this new beginning that's being offered here? Oh, you got to let something go, okay? This is an ending to something. Of course it's an ending to something, to a new passionate beginning. But are you really moving away? You know, are you are you going towards... Look, okay, this is what I... I did... I, so you are. You are... You know, we have Scorpio energy with this Page of Pentacles. This is, and something is being offered to you, okay? And it's to let something go from your past. It is to let it go um, so that something new can come in. This is a transformation, okay? A transformation coming in here. Uh, we also have the World card. Ah, so there's a completion here with the world card. This new passionate beginning, this new passionate ending to a new beginning is all about, it's, you know, it's all about love. It's all about passion. It's all about romance. You have, it's all about security within yourself too. Okay. So this security that you're feeling um, with the world card, that's your crowning thought. You're thinking about this completion. And this Ace of Wands, you're thinking about completing something, you're ending something, okay? You're in the process of it. And I feel like there is support, but the support is not helping you, possibly. The support could be more conflict, and that's probably what you're moving away from, the conflict. Um, we have you taking action into, you know... Um, Moving away from conflict, moving away from conflict, uh, moving away from the thought that, you know, you're supposed to be receiving something from someone, okay, or somebody. I feel like, you know, um, maybe there's tension between you and your family, okay, that, you know, you're having to remove yourself to find yourself okay and that's okay sometimes we do we have to need to remove ourselves from a situation from you know our families but that doesn't mean that you know uh it'll be forever this is just a situation right here that these cards are saying that there's conflict within the home life within the family you know or you know within the security within feeling one secure with oneself and you hear that calling, you know it, you want to pull yourself back into your, um, into this, we have Virgo energy right here, but I'm feeling, Leo, that, you know, you hear this calling to remove yourself with the Hermit card, to remove yourself, and your intuition is telling you that too, but we have the Emperor as the outcome. This is like, what is this, Spirit Guides? Wow. Okay, so the King of Cups come out. 
Are you being truthful to your feelings, to your emotions, to your well-being? You know, Leo, are you? That's that question you need to ask yourself. Are you working towards yourself? You know, are you working, you know, this is about making an effort, putting an effort, working as well with the King of Cups here. So it's like a strong effort. You know, don't make the wrong decisions. Don't work towards something that is not going to pay off. That's what it's telling you. Let's see what's on the bottom. Feeling left out in the cold, okay? You have to put in work. It's saying you have to keep the work going to see the results. And it's like, I, I feel like you... You're, you 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 never see the results or you're just passing it by you're past you know you're letting these results pass you by I don't know let me pull some cards okay this is like a partnership this is a strong commitment um, we have you know it, it's it's about staying committed sorry it's about staying committed okay to the outcome to the process it's about staying committed um, it's also about getting good vibes from your surroundings okay so if you have a lot of conflict within your surroundings and it's not good communication or they're not you know um, like I said if they're not giving you stability you need to remove yourself from these people or places things whatever the situation may be you know so that you can gain more power um, within yourself you know, you can gain more power within yourself and, um, you know, make a wise decision and not be so chaotic all over the place. That's what it's about, okay, this week. So, I hope you like this reading. You guys, uh, please like, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you, Leo.